So Yeshai, one of my favorite chapters, uh, and, and not chapters, but you know, parts of your book, Theology of Absence, is when you talk about love. Um, there's a section where you discuss that um, you know, the majority of the world, um, their concept of love is this continuous revelation of romance, of looking into the eyes of someone and you know, always wanting to renew that and you, you know, you say, you know, going on all these seminars of how to renew our love and going on these vacations away from the kids and how that would be the highest success of a relationship if you're always in this mode of romance and chemistry and connection. And you say, in contrast, um, Jewish love, uh, what you call the Brit, the covenant, um, is not actually trying to attain that at all. Um, that there's actually something flawed to that attitude towards love. So I want to ask you, I don't want to describe, I want to ask you, how would you describe the Jewish understanding of a Brit, a relationship between two people? Obviously it relates to God, mitzvot, but let's at least, uh, let's put it about romance and love and, uh, and covenant. How would you say the Jewish attitude towards love differs from um, this world, um, worldly and universal love that everybody's talking about? Um, first, as it's mentioned in the last book of the Trilogia, that th these three books don't are, in a sense, books on love. Love, theological love, and also love between... Uh, 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 I, I don't have the distinction between them, like as Chazal didn't have the distinction between them, as the Ari. One of the b nicest times that I had learning Ari, that I learned on Sukkot, and there he deals about one hugging, the Sukkah is hugging, and he deals there on, on, he hugs her in the beginning from the side, and then he brings her Panim Bifanim. Then I said, from when does the Ari knows that? Because it's not that they spoke about it beforehand and he's now just uh, mitzatet. So then I said, oh. then I said, he had his wife. So he knows what it is to hug. And he knows what it is to kiss. And he knows that there are different kinds of kisses and different kinds of hugs. And I can say everything is a metaphor that his wife is not an issue. What the issue is only the... I can say, no, I think it's right, writing one, one into each other. So also in the books, the, 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 the theological term of love and the relationship term of love are writing, writing one into each other. Before I answer your, your question... I think it's important to say that in our relations with our Benot Zug, in our relations with our Ben Zug Elohi, our concepts of our love, because we are in modern times and because we are under the regulations of modern romance, modern also theological romance, protestanti, the, 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 the connection with God as a reveal, revelation of Aniata, and so on and so on. That's why we can read Buber and understand what he's writing about because we understand what he's writing about. That's our expectations. When we, we mentioned the, the Hasidut HaChadasha, they are, that, that's, our, uh, 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 that's their expectations from Jewish life, to be a romantic, theological life. I'm saying this because we are all, me, I, I'm also sure that you, I met your parents, you didn't come from Measharim as a child. Um, our, the regulations, I'm calling it regulation, because it's regulations. It's not... Uh, it's chukim shel ahava of 
of uh, Western media and Western, Western culture, we are influenced, and in a sense, that's our, some of our expectations. We cannot erase those expectations. We are not able now to live the life of our other Haredi that has different expectations. What I'm trying to do in the book is do an analysis of that those expectations of love, religious love and relation and enoshi, uh, uh, how to say, uh, human. human love. First to see what is, on what are they leaning, what, what are, and not as no, 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 you're not good, look on what you're thinking of and what are your expectations of your uh, batzug and what are your expectations of, no, no, no. Those expectations are written into us There are our tachtivim. How do you say tach? So it's written atif tachtivim because it's a katuv, katuv becha. It's a tachtivim shilcha. But I think if you want true love, we need to lo- know how to um, break away or or. Give us another option, a different option in our love story, in our religious love story, in our human love story. The the Western secular love story will always be there. If we will know more how to analysis it, and if we will know more to analysis the Jewish option of Chayei Ahava, we will have a, a, a better uh, a capability of, uh, of, I think, can, uh, 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 I have here a, a, a chapter, can, Likrat Chayei Ahava Ve'emuna. Ela Praverti, Likrat chayei ahava ve'emuna. Yes. And the analysis I'm doing that we didn't deal, like we didn't deal with what, what am I doing over there, I, but I, that I do in, three, in the, these three books, in, in the first books, uh, book, Theologia Shulcheser, there's a whole uh, chapter that is devoted for that, that is, uh, uh, it's Likrat chayei ahava ve'emuna, Again, not thinking that I will be able to erase the 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 tachtivim of of the Western uh, way of love. You want to go on? Will you define this love um, that is unique to the Jewish Brit? I think that the way I'm doing it in the book is that uh, it's, it helps to first of all do a theological analysis. If we go straight to the human analysis, we are very lacked. We are very afraid. What does it mean? What does it mean with relationship with my wife? What does it mean of relationship with who I will be want to be married with my wife? It's very intense over there. When we do it on God. Um, it, it's, it's not easy, but I start from there. I think like if uh, um, the expectation of, of Christianity, as Rosenzweig said, is is metzumtzam is a letoch mishpat. How do you say metzumtzam letoch mishpat? Limited to a sentence that he gives, like he says. The Jewish way is Chayav Adam Lirot Et Atzmo Keilu Yatsami Mitzrayim. And the Christian way, I will say it in Hebrew, and then we'll try to translate it. Ilu Yeshu Aya Kayam Rak Bevet Lechem Velo Hayom Vepo Az Avod Avadeta Ve Ilu Christus Chai Elef Peamim Velo 
בך היום, אז בכל זאת היית אבוד. I will leave the translation for you. This is a sentence of Ingilius Silesius, a, Christi- a Christian thinker from the 1700s. The wish to meet God, Jesus, Christus, היום ופה, the wish that Ruach HaKodesh will involve into me, Yeshu Shiyichyeh Becha, that's the wish. The other thousand times that Jesus lived, Vichai, Venolad Elef Pe'amim, yeah, that every Christian has a moment of a birth into Ruach HaKodesh, a birth into Jesus, those, you have nothing to deal with them. You have your birth, birth into Ruach HaKodesh, into Jesus, even though they're different, but we won't deal now with the Shilush and all that, okay? And the life of Jesus in Bethlehem doesn't have any meaning for the Christian if it's not the life Hayom Vipo. Rosenzweig says, in contradiction to that, Jewish relationship with God um, suggests the sentence, Chayav Adam lirot et atzmo ke'ilu hu yatsa mi Mitzrayim. I give another sentence. Et asher, yeah, in the Brit, Sefer Dvarim, Ki ata ba bevrit Hashem uvaalato, and then the, the, the phrase says, Et asher yeshno po imanu omed hayom, hayom vepo, that from Ingilius Silesius, yeah? Ve et asher enenu po imanu omed hayom. The Jew lives his life as devoting to a moment that is lo hayom vepo. A moment that he was grabbed into in the past. Et asher yeshno imanu po omed hayom ve et asher enenu po imanu omed hayom. That orientation is a total different orientation. of relationship with God. The Jew is not waiting for the birth of Jesus slash Moses slash the Torah slash God into his life. Hayom vepo. He's approaching the ability that those old times will give him the opportunity to reach out to them, to speak To, or that the, the body of the Jew himself will give those big times the capability of being present over here. But it's the past that is present. And it's the past that didn't occur to me as present. It's a past that is occurring to me as past. While in Christian way of belief, everything is present. Jesus is present. And I'm not saying it as criticism. Really, the Christian has a relationship with God that a Jew will not be able to establish. Like the one in... Oh, one minute. But the Jew has a relationship with the signifiers of God, with the past of God's revelation that the Christian will never have. And that relationship is That those signifiers in those pasts are always there. Where is the birth of Jesus? 
in present, there is no secure. Yeah, the the Jew is full of bitachon. Bitachon b'Hashem, in this essence, doesn't mean that God will rule you. Everything is gonna be okay. Bitachon b'Hashem is that I have always the symbols of the relationship with God. Now, how does this influence the human love? West, Western uh, 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 way of love is very, Christi- very Christian that the moment of love is a moment of present where when, when a love lover looks in the eyes of his beloved and is able to say to him, I love you, and he's answered back. It's a moment that is here and today. And this here and today doesn't say anything about the past and doesn't say anything of the future. It's a pure present moment. And it is a pure present. It's a pure present because it could be and it could not be. It's a moment full of passion. It's a moment full of revelation. You reveal one in each other. Jewish way of love doesn't establish itself by looking one at each other and doesn't establish itself by the, that big passion of the moment. Could be that there is passion. And there is a lot to deal. What is the Jewish passion? But is more devoting yourself to a moment that is craved in the past of the couple, the moment of the Erusim and the Kiddushim. Meaning, Chaviva al Baala Keshat Knisata la Chupa, Rabbi Meir says. Shata Knisata la Chupa won't be a moment that. Here you will, uh, you will reveal yourself again and again. I have the mitzvahs are here to give you the, able, uh, ca- the capability of uh, being lovers forever. No. There is an establishment of our love. That's why the moment of love is not by looking one into the eyes of the other. It's by looking into the past and the future. The past of the wedding and the wedding is not a moment of love is a moment of nochechut I'm here ani Hashem ani velo malach ani velo saraf ani hu velo acher hada betul tada amara le chatan denan kala denan you're this you're that you're standing here today it's you and you. And the future of the family, of the kids. And it's a different orientation of love. And again, it's not that it has ze vegam ze. Yes, something in the Christian Western way of love could be maybe has much more passion. Chazal already says, Nital ta'am biya v'nital le'ovrei avera. There is something in the capability of looking eye into eye with no past and no... But there is the bitachon. Not a bitachon that I'm saying a functional, functional bitachon. More bitachon that I will say, there's ne'emanut that builds up your life in the Jewish way of love. That there is a moment that will always be there before you and there's a future that will always be there before you. And if you let yourself 
to try to live that way of love, you will love differently. Your expectations from your love will be different. It's not that, oh, it's shvacher, um, be between me and my life is not the same uh, uh, fire that we have. No, 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 no. The fire is different. The passion is different. It's Jewish passion. 